Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, then just welcome. This video is just gonna be a flip of my personal ring setup. So just jumping right into it. I promised my friend Susie at uh, Suji Handwrite that I would do a personal rings flip, and it has been so long that she probably forgot <laughs> all about it. But I didn't forget because I was like, you know what? I told her I would do it, and then I didn't do it. And of course my anxiety is like, you need to do it because you said you were going to. So here's a personal rings flip. <laughs> I'm currently in this Motrin Personal Rings Luxe Vegetable Tan Line in the color Midnight. Love a lot of the things about it. Love the texture of the leather. It's been my favorite for a while. And yeah, that's my cover of choice at this time. I like all the pockets. I like the back pocket. Pretty handy. I've been using it to store uh, receipts and coupons. I actually got these from, I think this is from my oil change and registration and inspection last week. But I got all that stuff done pockets over here tons of them i don't utilize them all the time we have secretarial pockets we have card slots we have a zipper pouch over here these are actually just some business cards that i had made for go wild this is a washi tape cutter i don't know if i can get that out washi tape cutter from a go wild welcome box i actually really like it i find it very useful <laughs> so keep that in there this is an evil eye charm. This is from Michaels. So I've purchased that and I've actually probably showed that before, but it's on the zipper of the zipper pouch over here. And in here, let's see, I have some funeral cards from both of my grandmothers. I have a discount card from, <laughs> from Muse Lab, which highly recommend Jen shop. It is amazing. You guys should check her out. Anything that I mention as far as like Amazon or any shops or anything that I can remember, I will be listing them down below. Keep in mind that the Amazon links will most likely be affiliate links. You are under no obligation to use them, but if you choose to do so, it really helps me out. This is, I think, from Paper Haunt. <laughs> this actually came from a recent order, like a freebie. It's a sticker. I didn't realize it was stuck in there, but okay. I really think that I'm going to keep that out though, because I want to use it in the future. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this back up. Speaking of Paper Haunt, this is a coffin paper clip from Paper Haunt on Etsy. Okay, these are 30 millimeter rings, which I enjoy quite a bit because it holds a lot of stuff. And hopefully this flip through doesn't take forever because I do have a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> this is a frosted card holder from Filofax. Got that in a recent order. I have pictures of my G-Baby in here. Um, I have pictures of my daughter and my son-in-law. I have pictures of my son and his girlfriend. This is a really cute little addition. My son went to Colorado a couple weeks ago and he purchased this for me because he knew I would love it. <laughs> Hopefully there's not like a lot of glare. I'm not really sure what direction to put that in where it's not reflecting my ring light, but um, this one has Sophia Petrillo. Of course it's expired because she has not had a driver's license in quite some time. <laughs> but since he couldn't remember what shop it was from specifically, he got it in South Fork, Colorado, I believe. But you can get these off of Amazon, so I'll provide a link for those. You can get Dorothy, Rose, and Blanche as well, in addition to Sophia's. They're really cute though. So here's the back of that. <laughs> This is just an acetate that I put in here and it's really to protect the vellum under here. I've had this vellum for a long time. It was from cloth and paper. I don't think that they sell it at this time, but if they do, of course I'll provide a link, but it is a thicker vellum. I use it for my inbox and I have some post-it notes here on the back. Uh, these are from Muse Lab. These are just regular post-it sticky notes. I really like the color, that purple. And on this acetate that I got from Filofax, I just included a vinyl that I made myself on my Cricut. It says established 1984, because that was the year I was born. And that was henceforth when the bat was born. <laughs> so I'm obsessed with bats. I love them. I think they're so cute. And I love like the whole aesthetic of it, especially when it comes to goth culture. So bats are my thing. <laughs> All right, so moving past these, these are just pages that I use for my inbox. Anything that I have that is just random, I don't have a place for it. I write it down, I complete it as needed or migrate it to whatever section it needs to be put in. All right, so dividers. These dividers I made myself. I purchased the, this thick vellum off of Amazon as well. And I have like removable tape here where I've kind of labeled them so that I don't have to really just permanently have these. 
I wrote these out in my own handwriting. But I did purchase the cut file from Etsy. I don't recall the shop's name, but I'll link it. Okay, and this is just the family section. So of course I have this mother dashboard. What I really like about these vellum dividers though is, and you can tell that these have been used quite a bit. Uh, the cool thing is I can make more if I need to. <laughs> but what I really like about the vellum dividers is they don't add a ton of bulk to my planner as opposed to the clear plastic dividers. To me, that just adds too much to it and it doesn't allow me to add more crap. So <laughs> I really do like this layered look as well whenever I have a decorative dashboard underneath it. And in this particular case, this one is from Watch Becca Plan and it just says mother on it. I thought that was really cute. Since it is a family section, it is in regards to my kids, in regards to my spouse, as well as my G-Baby. So here is a vinyl sticker. This is from Muse Lab. And this is a picture of my G-Baby a few months ago. So of course, hail to the queen, because she is a little queen. <laughs> this is a old picture. If you've been here a while, you've probably seen it before, but it's just a picture of my kids like 14 years ago. And it is wild to have to say that that has been, that's from like that far back, <laughs> 14 years ago. So he was five and she was 10. So that is crazy. <laughs> So I have lists for my family members, my husband, my kids, my uh, my bonus kid, my parents, things like that. Of course, family does include pets. So as I don't unfortunately have a dog at this time, <laughs> and it is not because I have not been begging for a dog for like years, but it's just not the right time. And we are responsible pet owners. So yeah, I'll wait until I need to. But you do have three cats. <laughs> And these stickers I purchased off of a, of a little sticker pack from Amazon. It did not have a full set for the tarot, but you know what? It wasn't that big of a deal. It wasn't like I was gonna be using it for readings or anything. These were just for stickers, but they were cat tarot, really, really cute. And I just stuck some of these on there. This dashboard, got that from Watch Becca Plans, I believe. It is one of her freebies. I glued it onto the front of this page. And this is where we start kind of getting some information about my pets. So I do have some of this covered. It's their microchip information. So we have Jack here. He is Sir Jack O'Lantern. We have Salem, which is Salem Crowley Saberhagen. <laughs> and our recent addition is Inky Raiden Stripe. So like I said, it has their microchip information as well as their most recent vaccines. I just had to update Inky's and Salem's because they just got their rabies boosters. Uh, Jack isn't due yet, but we're getting there. <laughs> All right, so there's some more information here. I have a coupon for a free bag of cat food that I got with Inky's adoption. It has not applied towards anything yet because I think the vet just recently suggested Royal Canaan cat food. By the way, they hate it. <laughs> and it's like almost 40 bucks a bag. So I'm just a little bit like, well, you're gonna have to eat it, I'm sorry. But apparently they had a slight increase in their weight because they're both chunks. And um, yeah, the vet was like, you need to probably put them on something else because they're getting a little too chunky. So I just made a little note here. They started it yesterday. If they have any digestive changes, then we'll go ahead and um, we'll make note of that and for the next visit. But yeah, there's some coupons here. There's a prescription for some heart medicine, heartworm medication that I need to get for them. Blah, you know. <laughs> All right, so this is also another DIY craft that I made. It is women who wear black lead colorful lives. I just made this on my Cricut and I included some little bats and placed it on black cardstock. So I thought that turned out pretty cute. The next section is a home section. And this dashboard is from a paper pack that I got off of Amazon. Um, it was suggested by Imogen over at A Witch's Plan. She included it in one of her videos. I'll provide a link for it, but it has a ton of these witchy cute little papers, decorative papers. They're not very thick, but you know, so it doesn't add a ton of bulk, which is a plus for me. Okay. This is a task reminders triggers list. This is a freebie from Plan With B. I just cut this up and kind of added it to the front of this, which is a printable from Muse Lab. And right now it just has some to-do lists that we have. Uh, my husband had said that he was gonna make me a coffin planter box to keep my Carolina Reapers in, and I'm so excited. <laughs> I thought that that would be really cute. So I can't wait to, get, to show you guys pictures of that whenever he starts working on it, but oh, it's gonna be so fun. 
So he recently made me a planter box for all of my herbs, which has come in handy. Believe me, I just go outside, I just pick what I need and I bring it back in. <laughs> just some other various projects, like I need to use spray paint two of our wooden chairs. I wanted to paint them black so they matched everything. Kind of have like an industrial farmhouse thing going on. I don't know. <laughs> These are other things that we would like to replace or purchase in the future. I did recently purchase a KitchenAid mixer. It was not the color I like, but I feel like I can make it work. It was red. I don't have anything red. <laughs> There's a few things that we need to get for the cats as well, like another cat tower, an automatic feeder since they are too fat, <laughs> things like that. This is a clip. I believe I bought this from, I want to say Kitty Co. Plans when she offered these as a physical item. I don't think that she has them in the shop as of now, but I've had it for years. I really like it. I think it's really cute. Oh, and I didn't even mention this one. So I do have quite a few clips in here. This clip is just a regular black clip. I got a pack off of Amazon, if you can believe it. And this is a charm that I purchased off of Amazon as well. It's just some skeleton mariachi with his little guitar. So I thought that was really cute. Me being Mexican, I like a lot of those little embellishments there, a little bit of a Mexican flair, if you will. <laughs> All right, so with this section, since it's the home section, there's a few things in here that I kind of want to keep private. So some information about our vehicle and information in regards to our insurance, things like that. Oh. I also included some information about some of our appliances. So if I need to replace an air filter or a water filter, I have that information there. Okay, so this is another acetate dashboard cover. This is from Peanuts Planner Co. I bought the initial acetate from there, but this is also a vinyl that I created myself and it just says mayhem. So I thought that was really cute. Okay, and this is my personal section. So I'm not sure how much of this I'm gonna show, but I'll try to kind of skip ahead if I need to. But here is a dashboard that I got from Kitty Co. Plans. I don't believe she's selling it. I'm sorry. Okay, so here is a picture of my hubby. I just printed this on my HP sprocket, attached it to a sticky note, and just punched some holes in it and included it there. And this is just my 2024 vision board. I have recreated this in like seven different setups this year. I'm not even kidding. When I say that I'm a chronic planner hopper, I'm not joking. <laughs> it's a very serious condition. And you know what, if I just need to keep migrating it, it's fine. It's just printing out pictures. It's not that big of a deal. But my motto for this year, my mantra, if you will, is do no harm, but take no shit. And I have created this a couple times as well. I printed it on my HP sprocket. And this was an infamous uh, Ranger game where Batista and Oro got into a fist fight and whop, you know, he just knocked the crap out of him. <laughs> so that was like the punch heard around the world. I think this was like back in 2015, so it's been a minute. But if you were watching that game as I was, I was like, ooh, <laughs> that was crazy. Um, I also have a zebra kicking the shit out of a lion in his face because do no harm, but take no shit, right? <laughs> Uh, this is just my vision board and various images, things I want to do this year. I've gone over this before. It includes like health goals, things I want to do to my Jeep, my dog that I hope to get eventually. <laughs> I eat better, you know, I'm doing pretty well there. I'm not eating as much sugar. I've cut a lot of it out, working on completely cutting it out. I did pretty good for about 30 days, but then I just kind of like, eh, you know, I wanted a cookie but i'm back on the i'm back on track now but you know i do want to get a new gun i would like to meet more people that have uh, similar interests that i do would like to be more creative and that included uh, buying some more copic markers to create more of my artwork haven't done that in a while okay so moving on from the vision board i have my legend slash key here on this side it just has my color coding some of my bullet journal keys here I have my word of the year, as well as my intentions for the year. As you can see, this is my mantra, do no harm, but take no shit. I have some of my 2024 goals on the other page, as well as some affirmations, but I'll kind of skip through that. These are just makeup and skincare. Uh, oh, okay, so I bundled these together. This is also a paper clip from Paper Haunt. So as you can see, these are just like personal lists. I bundled these together because I'm not gonna show them, but you can kind of just get an idea of annually how often like I replace my toothbrush, when am I uh, replacing my contacts, did I buy a new concealer, how long has it been? Try to kind of adhere to most of those uh, expiration dates. Sometimes, you know, I don't, but as, oh, see, like I just replaced this and it's June. So I'll mark that there later today. 
All right, so these are just miscellaneous lists or other personal lists of things that I wanna buy, etc. These are just seven areas of wellness. I printed these on a printable from Muse Lab. So these are in the personal size. And this is just like a four column list. The seven areas of wellness include intellectual, career, physical, environmental, as well as emotional, social, spiritual. And this is just an extra list. So I just put miscellaneous. These are travel plans. I have not added too much to these lately. State travel destinations. I did add Big Bend National Park because we would like to take our Jeeps there at some point. There are a few others that I haven't listed yet that I have on another list. I just have to migrate it. <laughs> but I did print these on, I think it's like Hammer Mill 28 pound bright white paper. I'll provide a link for that. I actually really like the texture of it. I like the thickness of it. It, it's bright white so it looks really nice and that's what I usually print most of my printables on. This is from Paper Haunt. It came with my recent order and it was just to indicate to me that this is a very personal information so I'm not going to include that. So here I just bundled, bundled this up a little bit but these are my contacts. We'll just go ahead and flip through. If you guys have been here a while you probably remember when I started the year off with a common planner week size. <laughs> And these were from Wise Minerva Studio, which is Mercury in retrograde. So it kind of just lists when Mercury is in retrograde for the year of 2024. It has a pen test page. As you can see, this is from where I cut it out. <laughs> Moon phases for 2024. This is also from Wise Minerva Studio, as well as a wheel of the year. So it has our Sabbaths for 2024, what days they fall on. All right, so this one is also printable. And it's just a list of family member projects. So anything that my sister or my mom or uh, my daughter asked for, I've been writing them here. So like my daughter wanted a little cat, like a fat cat vinyl, has a little cowboy hat and a bandana. <laughs> I have not completed that yet. I had to make a couple of bumper stickers for my mom because she was just like, I really want one that says go around, I'm slow. <laughs> so I was like, all right, I guess if that's what you want, gotta make it. These are just planner projects. So things that I would like to make for my planner is from Foxy Fix. And this decorative paper is from Michael's. It's like a Halloween theme. This is from Paper Haunt. It's a vinyl sticker, which has a coffin bookshelf with various books and things like that. And I thought it was really cute. As a librarian and as an avid reader, I really thought that that was cute. <laughs> and of course, as a librarian, I bought the uh, librarian sticker, like a haunted librarian. I thought it was really cute. That is also from Paper Haunt. This is a freebie from Watch Becca Plans, and this is for Basquiat War College, which is from the uh, Fourth Wing Iron Flame series by Rebecca Yaros. So if you are familiar with it, you probably know who this is. So I was like, oh, that's really cute. And it was also a freebie in her shop. I've done kind of like a piss poor job of keeping up with my books this year, but I'm trying. So I just recently finished one that I found off of uh, TikTok. It was called Pond Water. It was really good. I just felt like the, uh, like the audio version that I listened to, it was a little bit too rushed. So didn't feel like I got to enjoy it too much. But this is a book log as well as a bookshelf that I'm just kind of including all the books that I'm reading so far. I do, ha oh, I just finished Michelle Obama's Becoming, finally. <laughs> it's a really good book. I really loved it. I love her. So it was like, okay, that was gonna be a given, but I need to update these lists, obviously. These are just books that I have on my bookshelf as of now. And here's a couple of them. This is like John Grissom, The Exchange, um, activated by a local author that was actually suggested to me by one of my old coworkers. I think it was like her niece or something. She was like 16 and she wrote a book. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so I also have another, uh, my bookshelf here on the back. I believe this is also from Watch Becca Plan. And this is a little printed picture of my G baby as a little bat. <laughs> So Mimi had a say so and what she was for Halloween last year and she was a baby bat. <laughs> I love it. This section is for plants and some plant information. I've kind of touched on this a little bit in a previous video but been writing down some information on the herbs that I'm trying to grow or the herbs that I have grown. Some information on uh, current succulents that I have that haven't died yet as well as some other plants. My coworker just recently gave me a purple clover oxtail really really pretty plant and it is multiplying like crazy right now so once I bring it home I wanted to write some notes down about 
you know, how to take care of it, things like that. She also gave me this little uh, cactus. I thought that was cute, as well as the strawberry begonia. So these are why these aren't filled out as of yet. Uh, we have the Wandering Jew. We have some lavender information. My son bought this one for me for my birthday. Just some info. We have the Golden Pothos or the Devil's Ivy, as well as a recipe for gnat larvicide because, oh my gosh, these gnats have just infested a couple of my plants and I had to get rid of them because I was like, I cannot let this go. I cannot let this spread. <laughs> okay, this is an acetate that I purchased from Peanuts Planner Co. and uh, an actual physical item. This is a name vinyl that I got off of a shop. I believe it was on Etsy, but I do believe they are closed right now. It's, it was called the Panda Pig. So it, I've had it for years, but I like the hollow aspect of it. I thought it was really pretty. All right, the next section is finances. This is a dashboard printable that I got from Starstruck Designs. I have another Foxy Fix dashboard here. It's got two slots in it. So this is from an old cloth and paper order. This is just a image that I found on Google. It's for Muffin <laughs> off of Bluey. So as a Mimi, I have to watch Bluey every now and again, and I actually really like it and I will watch it without the baby here. So I enjoy the series. <laughs> and if you know, and if you've seen it and you know who Muffin is, Muffin is my chaos spirit animal and I love her. <laughs> uh, this is actually a sticker that I got from Go Wild. It is a little black cat. This it is from Planner Fluent. It just says, hello pumpkin. Even though it is not fall, it is not Halloween. It is in my head. <laughs> so I feel like Hello Pumpkin applies to all year. And these are just the finance sections. I won't go too, too much into what this is just because there is a lot of personal information and I have secured it with this little paper clip. This is a charm from a necklace that I got from Tamed Wild. It is a sub box and it is a High Priestess tarot card. So I keep that here. So we're just gonna skip ahead through all the finance stuff. It's just like my bills, things that I've gotta pay in addition to bills. <laughs> These are just one of those budget envelope things that you can you can find on anywhere on Etsy, Timu, whatever. But it has, I think it has some cash in it. Uh, yeah, it's got some cash in it. So just kind of saving some money or if I need to have, get some cash out pretty quickly, I have some in here. This is the small business section. This is a dashboard from Starstruck Designs. I have like my ideal schedule on here. Some various notes in regards to cut dimensions for my Cricut, any business expenses that I'm going to be claiming on my taxes next year. All right, so we're just going to the next section. Here is social media. And as I mentioned before, I'm using a whole other planner for social media just to kind of save space in here. But I do have some information like some lists, some tracking, things like that in here. This dashboard is also from Starstruck Design. So I'll just provide a link for that. These are just some trackers when it comes to social media numbers, any ideas that I have for content and videos, things like that. And just kind of moving on. Hopefully a, a potential Patreon in the future, I'm not sure. <laughs> but designs and art, things that I would like to do as far as drawing. I have been pretty excited about getting back on my art journey and drawing things more often. I had a couple projects that I did a few months ago, but I really would like to make more. So I wrote out some list of things that I would like to create, as well as some prompt lists and ideas. I do have a couple of things for Halloween that I'm gonna be doing soon, and I need to collect about 30 milk jugs. And as of right now, I got about five. Actually, no, I have another one that I need to write down, but six. So I just need to make sure that I have all those. I think I'll document how I'm gonna create this project. So just be on the lookout for that. So my schedule section is planning. So it's like monthly plans, weekly plans. I am not gonna include dailies in here, but just those alone. Um, it's a clear divider. You get a pack of two if you order them off of Amazon. This is a repurposed package from Pipsticks that we got like some stuff from Go Wild and I made a DIY pocket out of it. So I just kind of cut this up I thought that was really pretty. So I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in there. <laughs> so I made a little pocket out of it and I punched holes in it and put it in here. This is a Halloween decorative paper. This is also from Michaels. 
This is from Hey Planner Girl. This is the 2024 holidays, which as of today, it is Father's Day, June the 16th at the time of this filming. This is a quote that I got from Stephen Bartlett, I believe on Instagram. So I really like that quote. Some sticky notes that I purchased from Jet Pens in the shape of Totoro. These are a monthly insert printable that you can get from Peanuts Planner Co. If you are in her group, it is a freebie. So she releases these every year and I always get them because it is such a cool layout. I really like the minimalism of it. I like how simple it is. You can really do with it what you want and I've, I've used them for the last few years. But these are just for my monthly section. You don't have to buy a whole other insert if you don't want to. And as you can see, I started this for May and we just have some appointments some other appointments, anything in regards to the full moon, any meetings, things like that. So it's not super filled up as of right now because you know, we're still just in June. <laughs> All right, so just moving on to my June section. This is a monthly freebie from Sterling Inc. So if you are signed up for her newsletter, you do get a monthly freebie printable here. This is for June. I thought it was really pretty. These I got from Filofax. I did not like the monthly weekly inserts, but I kept these in box for each individual month. These are my weekly inserts. These are printables from a Etsy shop. I do not recall the name at this moment, but I'll provide a link for it as well as the name here. Okay. <laughs> these are undated. They're printables. I printed them on my usual paper, the white hammer mill. 28 pound paper and these are in the same similar fashion as the Nolte's that I've been using recently. This is like a grid memo type of layout is what it's called. So it, the only thing that it has on it is like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So it is a Monday start and you can really just do whatever you want with these down here on this section. This is a Filofax ruler divider. It comes with like, you know, whatever orders. You can purchase them separately, individually, whatever. I have plenty of room for notes and stuff like that. So uh, when I got like a coffee from Starbucks this week, they have been putting these really cute little stickers on them. So I'm just taking them and putting them on here. And this is like next week what I've got going on. So I have like a task list, like a rolling task list here and as well as meal plans, anything that I need to clean, any appointments. And then I have this whole other section right here. I can do a plan with me on this type of layout in this planner. I'm hoping to use this setup as an EDC for one book July. <laughs> So we'll see how that goes because I, like I said, I'm a planner hopper. I don't normally just stay in one book, but we'll try. <laughs> and in the month of July, you know, one book July, keep it simple. Just keep it down to one book and we'll see how it goes. But um, in this particular setup, I can do a plan with me. So this is the setup. Let's kind of move on. I do have July in here. I don't have room to really keep more than two months at a time. But that's okay with me because honestly my plans don't really extend that far out but this is like a blank copy of it if you will so you can kind of see that i don't think i paid a lot for it. i think it was maybe like four bucks if that this is a printable from peanuts planner co and this is menu slash groceries obviously i haven't been using it because i've been including it on in my weekly setup and as i've stated i'm not using this planner for dailies so i'm not sure how that's going to work with one book july but we'll see <laughs> These are some Tamoya River inserts. These are from Sterling Inc. So you can purchase a pack of those on her website. This is a Today divider. This is from Cloth and Paper. And that's really just to indicate to me that this back section is also private. I have a little dashboard that I created in Canva. So we'll just kind of flip through that. So here is also some other information. Like if I happen to lose this planner, here's my information here. Hopefully somebody returns it to me. Um, various printer settings on the back. So if I have printables from various shops like Lindsay Scribbles, uh, Simple and Trendy Co, Peanuts Planner Co, Annie Plans, how it works on my work printer as well as my home printer. And I also have some uh, additional sticky notes here. This is just a zipper pouch. I really hate the, the little zipper tab that comes with these because it adds so much bulk, I can't stand it. So I typically rip those off and just put a paper clip in here so that I'm still able to open it. But we have some stickers in here. Let me show you guys what I got. Oh, okay. This is just a freebie sticker page that I got from Paper Haunt. These are from Mandy Lynn Plans. These are also from Mandy Lynn Plans. Use Lab. These are just some 
American Horror Story font uh, monthly covers. These I have not been able to use as of yet, but these are from Sweet Freckle Designs. These were a freebie sheet from like an order that I had from her like a few months ago. These are some little planner icons from Randy Dot Plans. I actually got these as a freebie from Muse Lab. So it says freebie, it's really cute. It's a little washi strips right here. Death by the Sun, and that pretty much is describing summer for me right now because ugh, me and the sun are not compatible. Muse Lab stickers that I ordered. I thought these were really cute, as well as another monthly, uh, monthly stickers right here. These, I believe, were a sticker sheet. I don't know if I ordered these or if these were a freebie from Paper Haunt. I want to say that these were a freebie. <laughs> I don't think I paid for these. So that was actually really nice of her to include those in my order. But I think they're really cute. It's called Conjure. It's got some cute little things in here. Little witchy hands, some snakes, mugwort, <laughs> if you will. I don't have anything else in the back. I what these are called. <laughs> But you get the idea. I used to have one from Foxy Fix, but it's really, really thick. But this one is pretty thin. I got these off of Amazon. It's like a personal rings um, essentials kit for personal rings. So you got this as well as like some dividers and a ruler, things like that. So I was like, okay, that's actually pretty cool. It wasn't too expensive. And I included it in this because it is a lot thinner than the one that I had from Foxy Fix. So, uh, you know, of course it reduces the bulk. Um, I don't have anything in these secretarial pockets here or the slip pocket, but that pretty much concludes this flip through. I hope that you guys enjoyed this flip through. If you have any questions about where something is from, if I didn't mention it or um, anything in regards to what other materials I have for certain things, what vinyl I use, whatever, just list them in the comment section down below. If you like these types of videos, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section so that I can continue to make videos like this because I typically don't because it takes so long, but if it's something that you guys enjoy, I'll be happy to oblige. So let me know. All right. So it's going to conclude this video. I'll see you on the next one. 